mistakes that we usually do and we lose our marks here everyone the mistake number 1 the mistake number 1 over everyone is that we memorize our diagrams how many of you do tell me how many of you do that for example how many of you just open your books okay i can draw this okay this is brain okay oh this is neuron okay this is cell body this is exon this is dendrite and you close your book and now in your examination there is a question write sorry draw the structure of a nephron sorry neuron and you will be like i saw it there is a cell body there is a dendrite there is a exon but i don't know how to draw them if that happens to you everyone please stop avoiding the practice of drawing i know sometime not all of us like drawing but everyone if you want to score good marks in biology we have to be a great artist so everyone before your examination open your book see the diagram draw by looking at it and one time close your book and then draw it in this way everyone you will have a memory in which you have used your all your senses visual senses and of course when you're using your hand and your brain together you're actually making it at least temporary for your examination So everyone never memorize your diagram just looking at book and not practicing it. There's a other trick also over here everyone. That is remember the labelings. For example you can start from this particular point from here one point next point next point next point. If we take everyone the structure the structure of a nephron so again I am not good with diagrams but how hopefully you will be. Okay if this is a exon everyone Okay something like that and over here we have small dendrites i again i'm sure that they don't look like this but yeah so definitely everyone this is cell body so you can remember with the labelings this is exon and this is dendrites okay so draw definitely and of course then try to label it so once you are doing this everyone what is happening you are remembering both the things okay so i hope you got this point i hope there will be never repeating of this mistake number 1 mistake number 2 everyone that we always do right that is everyone cramming we have this feeling that biology ko ratta maar sakte hain book kholi starting reading reading correct and you feel that you are the boss of biology everyone the sad story is that bio ratta maarne se nahi yaad hoti first you have to understand the concept everyone and then then of course you have to put in your own words that what you know try to go to the mirror try to explain yourself try to write it in your own words and then you will be 100% sure about any of the concept that you are studying in biology Never ever cram. Don't rattafy, bachcho. Rattafy करने से ऐसे रोते रह जाएंगे. Right? It's so difficult. I can't do ratta, but we have to understand the concept and then of course move ahead. Mistake number three, everyone, that we all do is that not reading the question paper properly. We go to the examination with full confidence. हमने अच्छे से पढ़ा है सब. We take the question paper. Tick 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 tick. maybe we don't even turn the paper sometime there are two more questions we left or maybe there are easier questions that we haven't seen so everyone five important tips that everyone will give you this has to be there in their list that once you get your question paper take a deep breath calm yourself and start reading your question paper properly 
If you know the question, just put a tick mark or small dot like structure that just tells you that you know this question. Or you can do vice versa. If you don't know a question, just you can put a circle or some mark. Please go through the paper very thoroughly. The question might be asking you something else and we end up answering something else. So in that way, everyone, read the question properly because questions are easy. Answers are super easy. The only thing that we make difficult is focusing. So do read your question paper properly, everyone. Otherwise, we might end up like Mr. Bean. Don't want to see the paper. Mistake number four, everyone, that we all do is this one. Now everyone, when I look at this, I feel like we all have that bad, bad habit, everyone, of, of not choosing the option wisely. For example, for example, let's suppose there are two options. Let's suppose there are five marks question, okay, in that they have given you describe or write the function of, mm, let's say, plastids. And part two is asking you to differentiate between a plant cells and animal cells. The next question is that just write five points about the cell. Think about it, everyone. Which of the question to you look more easier? We have our own easy, difficult and moderate level. But everyone, I'm 100% sure if given an option, we will be definitely going for the other question. We just have to write the characteristics of cells. Right. So when you read the question properly, everyone, then you have a picture of yourself that what you're writing and how you're writing and how many marks you will get out of it. And hence, it's become really important for you to read the questions wisely. Choose the questions wisely. There are hardly any questions. There are not 100 questions, everyone. So you have an ample amount of time. Read the questions properly. Make your opinion. Make your choice properly because it's your marks. Okay. Now, everyone, coming to the mistake number five. And this is the easiest one, I believe. Right. This is like once we have a pen and we have an answer sheet, we are the William Shakespeare. We become the our complete author of some book and we start writing whatever we know about that thing we start writing which is not good everyone there is always a limit in limits of the words in your answers for example one marks question will just required one word or one sentence two marks answer may require 30 to 40 words or maximum 50 words three marks question require 200 words and less than that and sometimes five marks, maximum 300. So everyone, focus on the word limit. You don't have to write everything in a very elaborated way. This is not the graduation or post-graduation level exams, everyone. These are your school examination. The examiner, bacho, will be looking for the keywords. Aapne zaruri points likhe hain kya? Zaruri words use kiye hain kya? Agar aapne use kiye hain, you are good to go. Aapko darne ki koi zarurat nahi hai. To, to have that small answers, you have to have a clear understanding. So, assure that you're not writing unnecessary words and just filling up the sheets. Okay? So, let's see everyone, what are the five mistakes that we usually do? Here everyone, memorizing the diagrams, cramming biology, third, not reading questions properly, five, not choosing wisely question, right? And of course, definitely the five one that is writing long essays, even if in a very short answer. So it's a humble request rather than it's a uh, tricks and it's a shout out to all of you. Please avoid this five mistake to get amazing marks in your biology in your ninth class. If you like the video, everyone hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel of Vedantu Night and then and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you know that when we are posting a new video for you. If you have any inquiries, everyone, you can write to me on this particular email address. Till that time, everyone, all the best for your examination and preparation. Lots of love from Vedantu. Bye-bye.